this video we look at the cationic polymerization um, the initiation step takes place uh, usually with a, a Lewis acid and the Lewis acid is a molecule that can accept a pair of electrons so for example boron trichloride is a Lewis acid and when it reacts with H2O or they have an excess of uh, electrons so a Lewis base a co-initiator um, those electrons can be donated to the boron trichloride and this can accept that as an electron acceptor Lewis acid what will yield uh, the initiator and it will look like this here we get a negative charge and here we get the OH group of the H2O plus a proton and this proton is actually the initiator of the reaction so the initiation step initiation actually I have to draw here initiate tor and so okay we will activate it initiation step um, we have the in situ produced oh in situ produced um, initiator and it will react with the monomer for example we take this monomer so just an example and this double bound is reactive and it can donate its electrons to the H where uh, we um, will react where it will, re will we re react um, in this example uh, in contrast to the free radical polymerization, we use here uh, whole headed arrows because both of the electrons will be donated to the H, so we make a new covalent bound. We will see that here, uh, where this H is covalent bond, makes a covalent bond with the C, and the two existing H uh, atoms and the rest of the molecule what will yield of course here the uh, positive charge with and now we will abbreviate something this part we will abbreviate it to uh, the counter ion C counter ion um, what has a negative charge so we will oh sorry counter ion what will be positioned here so that's the first step um, now we take into take a look at the propagation step propagation and actually this process will go on will go on in the propagation step so uh, as the same uh, as we have looked uh, as we have seen in the in the free radical polymerization we draw here a polymeric structure because we know a lot of monomers have reacted already uh, like this in the propagation step and we just want to visualize what is happening in the propagation step so here is the positive charge with the counter ion and a new monomer like this and that will yield go to the next page uh, what will yield the new polymer so we draw again the structure like this n plus one this, like the same in the free radical polymerization it's quite similar with the uh, positive charge and the counter ion. So excuse me, you say here I I'm uh, a little bit confused with the Dutch uh, notation. So <laughs> this is a counter ion. Okay. Um, and now we already finished. So we have the termination. And we look at two termination mechanisms. Um, and we can look at the chain transfer. We will abbreviate it now 
actually in your exam you just write down of course this structure again and then what will happen but for this video we will abbreviate it a little bit so the chain end say is 3 plus with the counter ion negative charge and for the chain transfer we just use another monomer this is a little bit strange because it looks like exactly the same as in the propagation step but something else will be uh, taking place because instead um, the counter ion of uh, sorry the um, the positive charge and the reactive bond here what normally react in the propagation step is not taking place when we talk about chain transfer but this proton here that will re uh, will re react in the chain transfer reaction so this double bound will react with the proton here here we have an x of electrons so this bond will go here and here, here there will be a new bound uh, formed and this positive charge of course that's why here the new bound can be formed uh, will be cancelled out and will be transferred to the monomer that's why it's called chain transfer so what will what is the product that is a terminated chain end so the double bound what is formed here we will see here um, mm, yes this is not correct. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. Let me think. <laughs> okay, like this. Um, and uh, of course, uh, the product of the chain transfer itself. CH3, CH3 M plus and the counter ion with the negative charge still. So this part uh, comes from here. So, and this proton will be transferred here with a positive charge what will yield this one so I was a little bit confused now <laughs> um, and the last step of course um, a, an example of a, of a normal termination step termination termination step is like this so we draw the chain end with a positive charge. Uh, for example, now we write down the uh, write down the uh, initiator with the negative charge, and we can also see in this uh, in this example that this chlor chloride uh, part um, can be re can react with a positive charge. What will yield a next page? What will yield Oh, have a polymer like this, H, H, C, CH3, CH3, CL. So this is um, from, the, uh, from the initiator, plus BCL2OH, what is neutral. That's it. 